nice to hear the rain outside also. We're in the rainforest, so it's good. Uh, I won't make uh, long comments. Uh, I found the, all of the presentations, as I'm sure you did, nice, good. Uh, all of the presentations to be very exciting because there is a lot of alignment in the different academies around the world about exactly what we're talking about. That the agenda combining the economic, environmental, and social considerations is important, timely, and a fitting subject for the academies to take on. And I'm extremely excited and gratified by that. I think we can convey that message uh, back to the UN leadership, I would hope. I, I will certainly do that in an informal way, but I hope that the IAP might do that also in a more formal way to the Secretary General of the United Nations, who is uh, institutionally engaged in helping to find the way through this complex uh, period of uh, negotiating. Of course, the Secretary General has a new science committee, which is important, and he's also asked me to help organize a global university network and other uh, institutional leaders in science and technology, also including the business sector, uh, to help promote sustainable development solutions. That network is called the Sustainable Development Solutions Network. It has a number of chapters around the world as it's getting organized right now, including a Brazil chapter of SDSN, as we call it, and also an Amazon chapter of the Sustainable Development Solutions Network. And indeed, the Amazon chapter will be meeting this afternoon to talk about science and technology in the Amazon in particular. I hope we could make a good practical alliance of IAP and SDSN uh, to make sure that we're getting the most of uh, all of this energy and connections. There's a lot of very specific work to do in the coming nine months, actually, uh, in terms of setting appropriate goals, targets, and indicators. And that's real-time work where feedback from the IAP would be very helpful, even though it's a short time horizon. Then there will be a 15-year time horizon of 2015 to 2030 to achieve the new sustainable development goals. And that's a long-term work program. Future Earth is a crucial part of that. IAP is a crucial part of that. I hope the global universities that we're trying to help to spur uh, in this new agenda can be part of that as well. So I'm extremely excited and encouraged. I hope all of these PowerPoints can be available online uh, because they're excellent uh, and a tremendous compendium and demonstration of uh, all that is underway. And I am also at your service, uh, sachs at columbia.edu for the connections with the Secretary General's Sustainable Development Solutions Network. Thank you very much.